I'm going to show you something about these microwave switches that may not be very apparent at first. When you're replacing uh, these switches, they can go bad. You can see this one's got some burn marks here. They can go bad, and if these uh, switches don't activate at the same time, your microwave can blow a fuse and can stop working. When the door gets shut, these things need to close and synchronize their click all at the same time. Anything that's off a little bit, they can fry, they can get uh, out of sync, and then it stops working. But when you're replacing these, sometimes it can be a little unclear, so what am I dealing with? What am I replacing? You can see with these three here, this one here is black, these are gray. Uh, this has a black button here, this has white. Well, let me tell you, none of that matters. None of that matters at all. What matters is look at the side of the switch that you're replacing. You can see here that these show normally open, normally closed, and common. And those three, try to get that to focus, those three things are the key for the switch. So they're all pretty much the same. They've got these little holders here and here, and then there'll usually be a clip that'll go on here and snap them into place. But you wanna make sure you're putting the right one in into the right spot. There's typically three of these switches on a microwave, and what'll happen is one will be uh, requiring a normally closed uh, setting and the other two normally open. That's typical, but it can be different. So you're gonna wanna look at the switch that you're dealing with. And in this case here, this switch is a normally closed switch. Why? Because the prong that's gonna plug in is lined up right here with the NC, normally closed, all right? This very similar looking switch right here, the prong here is lined up with the bottom under normally open. So that's what differentiates these two switches. Everything else in the housing, it's gonna be exactly the same. Even on the back here, it's gonna say here, KW3A, KW3A, all the writing, everything's exactly the same. Colors, you know, but the, the difference is where is that prong there. And in this case here, it's up against the NC. That means it's normally closed. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means when it's resting, when there's nothing going on with this switch and the little spring-loaded piece is sticking, sticking out like this, that means that this switch has got a closed connection. The electricity will flow from here through here. Now, when you click the button here on a normally closed switch, you break that connection, and now electricity won't flow from here through here. Flip side, it's the same thing with these normally opens. These are sitting here open, there is no connection, but when you press the button down, it makes the connection. So these work in the opposite way of each other. You can see that on a multimeter like this. If I set it over here to the continuity, this switch here normally closed. As soon as I connect these two here, it should have a connection and we get that beep. But now if I connect it through like this, push the button, I break the connection. And these work the opposite way here. I'm gonna have no connection when I touch them together like this. When I push the button, the normally open connection gets closed. So that explains these uh, microwave oven switches. You're gonna have, like I said, three of them, maybe even more. They're gonna be a combination of normally opens, normally close. You wanna make sure you find the right ones. They all seem to look alike. They're all exactly in the same black or gray packaging, but where that thing is located dictates that normally closed or the normally open function. Hey, I hope that helps. Have a great day.